Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to close the sandboxed web browser. I mean sandboxed here means uh, sandboxy this is sandboxy and this is invoking the Chrome browser. I think it's just invoking the standard browser. Whatever you have could be Internet Explorer, Firefox or whatever. So I have the Chrome. That means when I start this program, uh, it will, as you can see here, can see that yeah more or less that's a chrome it's basically the chrome browser and yeah so it opens it in a um, like a, a sandbox you see the yellow uh, border it's all around this um, chrome edition so it's always a good good thing. So when you get an email you don't, uh, and a link and you don't know, you think maybe, oh yeah, that's a good thing to click, but you, you don't know. It could be phishing, could be scam, could be anything. I mean, scammers are really good these days. So when I'm not sure if I can click on that, so I open a brow uh, 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 the browser or the Gmail in a sandbox browser. Sometimes I just run my email in the sandbox at all so that's always a good thing so as long as I don't have to download something or upload or whatever so it, it, it works really good so the problem is um, how can you um, how to delete I mean how to properly terminate this thing I mean, of course, you can, like normal, click on this X and it seems uh, that everything is gone, but it is not. When you go down to the sys tray, you see two things. Here, there's the, still the sandboxy uh, control. And second, all the programs which have been started additionally by this Chrome, the Sandbox Chrome instance, uh, are still running. So here in my case, it's Dashlane. It's a, a second instance of Dashlane. And I don't know which one is the original one and which one is the Sandbox one. Of course, uh, usually the first one is here. so sandbox one should be here but the thing is also even when I know when you click on that you see there is no such thing like um, exit you can log out but I think the program will still run so problem is not solved so I mean when you are in this situation nothing will happen I mean there will still be a lot of files like temporary files on your hard drive from the sandboxy sandbox uh, they probably will won't cause any harm but they are there I mean they are in a sandbox actually they can't be accessed hmm, usually should not be <laughs> but uh, you never know so what's a good thing to get rid of all the stuff and uh, terminate everything and so you have a clean system and don't waste any more CPU and RAM and, and whatever and, and close especially these additional programs. So uh, yeah, until a couple of weeks ago, I haven't done this and I've been uh, wondering why my system is so slow and now I know. So here you can right click on the sandboxy, go to the default box and click on delete content so now it will search for all the files which have been written in this temporary sandbox usually it's much, it's much more I've, I've just invoked now this program and done nothing so you click on delete content okay that's gone and now the sandboxy control is still here the yeah oh okay yeah no i see uh the sandboxy does 
uh, deletes the temporary content and tries to terminate all these additional instances. So the only thing which is left now we right click on Sandboxy and click exit and everything is gone. So we got rid of all the duplicate uh, program instances. We got rid of all the um, the files which could be harmful. So I don't know. Maybe there's a way to set up the thing. I mean, there's a huge uh, settings page from Sandboxy, and maybe there's a way to set it up that when you close uh, the Sandbox browser, that it deletes the files and deletes the duplicate program instances. I don't know. I've, I haven't found anything. Maybe you you know that. Uh, if, if you have seen something, it would be really nice if you could uh, write it down to the feedback area. I'm always happy when uh, customers or customers, <laughs> viewers, <laughs> know more than I and could give me and other people uh, input and feedback and everything so yeah and yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit um, yeah if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and bye uh, by the way I will put down in the description a link to the sandbox so you can download it's a really good program i haven't found any any problem uh with that so i'm pretty sure it does a really good job you're safe when you just try to click around in the internet when you're looking for something you click around new pages where you have never been and you n don't know if you get uh, yeah you always could be prone to uh, catch a virus uh, or w w whatever and that's that's not a good thing so when you're looking for new information or whatever you do and click on strange sites yeah just use the sandboxy sandbox browser i can highly recommend it's free and um, yeah uh, I, I put down the link so you can download it's not an affiliate link i'm not uh, related to this company or whatever i'm just trying to help you that's it so thanks for watching and see you next time